Hello and welcome to the new video of JPA tutorial. In this video, I'm going to talk about the inheritance strategy in JPA. Inheritance is the core concept of the object-oriented language. We can use inheritance relationship or strategies between entities. JPA support three types of inheritance strategies, such as single table, joint table, and table per concrete class. Let's start with a single table strategy. The single table strategy takes all classes fields and map them into a single table known as single table strategy. The discriminator value plays a key role in differentiating the values on three entities in one table. In the previous video, we have covered the many-to-many -many relationship. Starting from that, in my project, I have four entities, but three of them, student, teacher, and tutor, have the same properties. Because of that, I'm going to create a new entity called person in order to implement the single table strategy. I'm going to use the inheritance annotation with the strategy single table and add the discriminator column annotation and finally inside the person entity I'm going to add the ID, first name, last name with the getter and setter. Now, inside the student class, I'm going to remove the annotation table and I'm going to add the discriminator value annotation with the value st student. I'm going to extend the person class, removing the ID, first name and last name, but of course I'm going to keep the one-to-one -one and the many-to-many -many relationship. Then I'm going to do the same thing inside the class teacher and tutor, putting the discriminator value TE for teacher and TR for tutor.
Let's jump inside the app class to test the single table strategy. Let's run it and check the database. I have my person table where inside I can see all students, teachers and tutor with their type. Now let's move on and implement the joint table strategy. Joint table strategy is to share the reference column which contain unique value to join the table and make easy transactions. Starting from the person entity created, I'm going to change the value of the strategy from a single table to joint table and I'm going to remove also the discriminator column annotation. Then inside the student, teacher and tutor, I'm going to replace the discriminator value annotation with the primary key joint column annotation with the value ID as a reference column name. Without changing the app class, I'm going to run the project to test the joint table strategy. Now, if I check the person table, I will have a different structure because I don't have the type column anymore, but just the ID and all entries for student, teacher and tutor. Inside the student, teacher and tutor table, I have only the relationship with other tables. Last but not least, the table per concrete class strategy. Table per class strategy is to create a table for each sub-entity. It is a very simple to implement the table per class strategy. I have just to change the strategy value inside the person class and remove the primary key join column annotation inside the student, teacher and tutor class. Without changing the app class, I'm going directly to run the project to test the table per concrete class strategy. Check the database. Inside the person table, I don't have any entries, but I have them inside the student, teacher and tutor table, because the table per concrete class strategy creates and stores the data inside each table of each sub-entity of person. In this video, you will learn the inheritance strategy in JPA, where we have implemented the single table, joint table and table per class strategy. I hope you liked and enjoyed the video. Inside the description, you can find the link to the GitHub repository. And if you have any question, don't hesitate to add a comment inside the section below. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be updated with a new video that we will upload.
see you in the next video bye